And ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Immortal Taoists. I know you're all missed the series immensely. This one's going to be focused more on the roams. Um, I don't know how much I'm going to be able to fit in here because I'll be re-traveling and calculating um, resources required to pass each roam. Um, <coughs> note on the Discord, uh, I have joined as of four or five days ago. haven't really spoken on there much, to passing comment here and there, uh, really the only reason I joined it was because you guys were like, oh, you should join the Discord, you know, have a have a look at the guides there, so I did, and thankfully my guides and their guides don't really overlap, but anyway, yeah, moving on, as of me sitting down with my pen and paper right now, we have 380 subs, you know, that's an extra 100 subs as of like literally seven days ago when I uploaded that video before 300 subs for virtual reality blood and truth that's insane how fast we're growing now um kind of scary kind of cool kind of awesome thank you very much to any everyone who subscribed so far really honestly it, it's gonna be it's a journey it's a it's been a long journey <laughs> and i hope you're all enjoying it and if you're watching this and you're not subscribed yet i mean why not you know just just why not but anyway, this episode itself is going to be predominantly me having a more in-depth look at Rome. So I'm going to actually jump in and re-travel each Rome from 1 up to where I'm at at the moment. I should be in like 10 or 11, but I have been neglecting Rome a bit. But now, you know, obviously I'm forcing myself to do Rome and I'm starting from the very start all the way up. So I just need to finish this contest of Tower because it's one of the events at the moment. Might as well. I mean, I'm not doing very well in it because the more servants that I have, the more they're able to, you know, attack and kill and remove more points off me. So I've been working on trying to pump my servants up, which is easier said than done. Like a nascent soul, I'm not going to be able to kill him, sadly. Oh my. Yep. Yeah, fair enough. Okay. Just uh, catch up on all my dailies. I apologise. We'll, we'll get to Rome. We'll get to Rome, I swear. Yeah, I'm doing it the quick way. I'm not sorry. Alright. Like, you just, you have to do this. These are the dailies. It needs to be done. Because pets will be long-term end-game thing that defines the truly strong from the weak when you really think about it. I'll explain that more in a later video if you really want to hear my thoughts behind why I think that. But yeah, I'll, I'll stick with the current content of the video. Don't want to overwhelm people with too much information. There's a lot going through my brain in terms of this game. <laughs> and actually, I found a RPG run around immortal cultivation game which is some some surprising things. I was going to swear there because I, I've been looking for so long trying to find something that can accompany Immortal Towers and I think I finally found it. So I will be doing a video on that tomorrow. But now, we're going to go... I've got to leave number eight. Yeah, see, I'm behind here simply because I was required to brew some... Uh, refine some pills and I was honestly, for a lack of a better way to describe it, I was lazy. <laughs> in getting through roams i was really just lazy that's my fault but anyway going into cloud realm now when i when we when we first go in here i won't i won't re-travel yet i'll just do a quick little explanation for the people that are watching this and they haven't even got to rome yet first thing you want to do when you get to rome one is go into the peddler have a look at that heavenly book for clouds that's an efficiency book you do want to get it, it will help you in the long run. The sooner you get that, as soon as you get up to heaven, the better it will do for you in, in, in any length of time, really. And also at the bottom of this list is a soul for a servant. Now, you, I would honestly say, if this is your first time through Rome 1, don't bother getting that soul yet. Save those jade, get the efficiency book and spend 10k on a skill because, first of all, that servant is not very good. Um, and you, you really only want, 
want a lot of servants later on when you can actually have the servant XP to spread around when you're actually making like 30 to 40 million servant XP a day and you can afford to level up servants like nothing because that's actually some another reason for strength later on the more you perk your lower level servants the more stats you'll actually gain in the long run just by dint of the fact that your highest level servants take so much to level and you can augment your overall might intellect and other stats by pumping your lower servants even though it seems like you're doing a lot less like again that's a whole nother video if you guys want to hear more on that let me know again i have a lot going on up in my brain when it comes to this because this is a this game is maths for lack of a better way to describe it but yes now i will re-travel so when you re-travel the costs of these are going to be a quarter of what you guys are seeing if you if you haven't done Rome yet. So I'm I'm just gonna get into it. I will at the end, I've just reset it. This is it. We are now re-traveling. Now there are three things you can get when it comes to Rome. You know, obviously you've got your Master of Merit, which is 90 faith or 85 faith plus. If your score for up in the top right you see roaming progress if your faith is 90, your deterrence is 30, 40 or 30, sorry, because there's 12 events in each realm. So if your faith is 90, your deterrence 30, you'll be a master of merit. And every certain amount of time, you'll be getting a hell of a lot of benevolent jade. And again, the opposite way around, if your deterrence is 90 and if your faith is 30, you're going to get a hell of a lot of malevolent jade. Now, either one of those things is really not ideal because... As I mentioned ages ago, back, 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 back in, I don't know, part five, maybe, or six in Ascendance of the Guide a month ago or so, um, I had foolishly, because when I completed Rome 1, I couldn't complete Rome 2 immediately, and I couldn't re-travel at the time. I'm not really sure why, unless that was a recent feature added, but I couldn't re-travel, and I was stuck being a Master of Merit. And I was getting so many, oh sorry, a Lord of Chaos, which is the uh, malevolent version of it. But I was stuck being a uh, Lord of Chaos and I would just get so much malevolent jade to level up the array and almost no benevolent jade, which makes the array absolutely useless because they all build on each other. That's how you get your stats from it. But yeah, that's that's just how that is. The idea that you want to you wanna aim for Judicator, which is... I mean, you can go 60-60 in terms of deterrence and faith. That'll make you adjudicate. You'll get an even amount of benevolence and malevolence. But it does go up and down. So you can go deterrence 80, faith 40. You'll still be a adjudicator. You can go faith 80, deterrence 40. You'll still be a adjudicator sort of thing. As long as it doesn't pass 80, like 80. If it goes beyond nine, beyond 80, that's it. You're one of the extremes. But you just want to keep it in the middle there just to make sure you can level your array evenly as you go. Now, I will also be writing down all of the resources required for this as we go. So, let's go. So, half immortal kill or a fight with immortal. Now, I'm only going to map my decisions here simply because I know roughly what I'm doing to get Judicator because I've done these before. But I have not, nor have I seen anywhere, someone who's given all the resources that is required to roughly pass a Rome with exactly what you want kind of thing. So for the first one, Spirit Cave, I'm just going to fight the Immortal. That'll probably be Deterrence. Yep, Deterrence. For Confusion Valley, enter for exploration combat. Or spend some iron to seal the woods with the array. Now, obviously, it seems like the combat one's going to be deterrence. And spending 7,500 iron is going to be faith. But let's see how we go. I'm going to choose 7,500 iron, which is actually a substantial amount more for you guys because it's a quarter of the price now that I've retraveled because I've already done it once. Never forget that. The numbers you see here are the numbers you will see. I will put them in the description, the total amount you will need. So yeah, 
So confusion value, yep, faith. Spend a bit of iron, she'll be right. Sky cloud village, spend 2k spirit stone for entry, that's likely going to be faith. Going inside, combat, that's definitely going to be malevolence. I'm going to spend 2k spirit stone for entry. A bit of faith. So, Lixi, Li Shi town, I should say. Now, this town, beat the bandits, give 5k I, and one's deterrence, one's faith. I'm going to beat the bandits because I'm really just trying to keep deterrence and faith even as much as possible, anyway. For Brook Village, fight or run away. I think we both know we're going to fight. Deterrence. Quan Shan Town. We have three options here. Now, anytime you're given three options, one option will be malevolent. I mean, one option will be deterrence, one option will be faith, and the third option will give five deterrence and five faith. So it just depends on which one you pick here. So ward off the beast is going to be faith. Slay it is going to be deterrence and blocking it and asking the hunter to return the cub is going to be deterrence and faith. So I'm, I'm just going to block the beast here. Deterrence and faith plus five each, yep. Now Rome 1 is relatively easy. The only hard part about it is the boss and I will get to that point in a second. Ride on sword, goods to delivery at the river bent post. I'm going to cast a spell to stop the rain. Faith. Nice. So 35-35 at the moment. Oh, should I punish in the Yi Yang countryside? Just depends on whether actually you also want to make this as cheap as possible for you. Again, I will choose, I think, all of the cost ones at the moment. So 2.5k... Spirit stones, a bit of more faith, even though I just paid some bandits off, I feel indifferent. Okay, on to this village, which is very inappropriately named. 75, see, it's not always obvious which one's going to be deterrence and which one's going to be faith. It's like both of them are nice, but the higher option I think is going to give faith, so... I'm going to choose the lower option here at 7,500 iron. Deterrence 10, yep. So I've managed to keep it even here so far. 45, 45. On to the next one. Ah, now, this one, the soul extracting third choice will give you 5 and 5, but unfortunately I've got no bloody pills. So I'm going to... I'm going to have to quickly make them. Oh no, that's what I'm going to have to do. Wrong way. Level 1 soul extraction, please. Got a minute 30. That gives me enough time to jump back in to the others before I come back to that one. Alright. Moving on. For this village, Huai Guang village, I think, maybe. God, don't don't roast me for my pronunciation. 120 conjoined flowers to heal them or wood for construction. Which one's faith? Which one's deterrence? Honestly, they both seem nice, you know. I don't see why either would be deterrence. But I'm going to go 120 conjoined. Deterrence, okay, whatever. Fair enough. All right, Yulan Village, beat the brutes, but I kind of want to keep my even thing going on at the moment. So leave 1,200 spirit stones, I guess. Bit of faith. And now we must wait for a minute, I guess. <laughs> Alright, back to heaven, back to Rome, soul extraction, boom, 
60 to 60, that is Realm 1 done. Now, before I get into what this boss requires stat-wise, I'll put in the description the amount of resources I used total that would be for you so times four of what I used so I'll put that in the description of my choices and how much it cost me so that maybe you can prepare to have that amount on you before you go into Rome now this isn't the only way to do it of course you can mostly aim for the combat options some of the combat options do give faith but you just want to be careful not to go over 80 on either deterrence or faith just to keep that judicator title because it's the most important now, going into the first Rome boss, this boss is rather tough. Uh, if you didn't break the array yourself um, down on Earth, then, <laughs> then you're going to struggle with this Rome boss to begin with. It's, it's tough. It is tough when you first descend, especially if you've done Guidance. But to beat it relatively easily, you're going to need to be running 130,000 attack plus 120,000 defense plus 800,000 HP at least and about 90,000 miss because it hits hard sort of thing. So those are the sort of stats that you want to be rocking. You can do it at lower stats, but again, it's more luck based, obviously. The lower your stats are um, from this sort of range, the luckier it would be to pass prior to it, basically. So let's just get rid of this boss. It's an Ascension 10 boss, and it hits like an Ascension 10 boss. Okay, yeah, no, obviously I'm past that part. But, yeah, it, hit, it hits hard when you first ascend. All right. Now that is Rome 1 done. Now, I was going to go straight into Rome 2, um, but I think perhaps I'll leave it. It's a bit long. I think I talk too much at the start. So for the next video, I'll try and do 2 and 3 together, I think. But... Yeah, I'll leave it here. I don't want to make them too long. You know, you just get annoyed by me with so many numbers and me just talking crap. But again, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Share it, like it, leave me a comment on something else to do as well because this is my next project, mapping out all the roams and all the resources required for roam. So that's the, the new series, I guess, so to speak. But yeah, as always... Have a great day.